Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. Today we will discuss about Orkund, Orkund by Original. So as you can see, now it is with Original and Original they have joined hand with Turnitin. Uh, you can see in 2021 they have joined hand and Turnitin also has uh, announced that they have already acquired Original. We will not go into the company detail. Moreover, you know, Orkund is part of uh, Sot Suddhi project. Uh, and uh, here there is two important aspects that you need to understand if you are new to Urkun and you are using Urkun. There is like a submitter and receiver. You know, a person can be both submitter or receiver or he, he or she can only be a uh, submitter or receiver. So it is up to the admin uh, to decide whether to give both the SS or not. If let's say somebody is only submitter, so they can only submit the file to the Urkun and uh, the receiver at the other end may be uh, your supervisor or the head of the department or you know your teacher might be the receiver who can assess the you know report the similarity report or the uh, you know report that being generated by urkun so that uh, that is up to the admin to decide or the university to decide to give uh, both option to the uh, to the you know student or faculty or not so this so there are two options that we will try to understand now what i'll do is i will log in with my system so you can able to understand which is having both submitter and receiver many of you might be you know having that submitter and receiver so you know how they can able to manage or do important setting before submitting a file to urkun so you can come back to this page i'll keep this uh, uh, link in the description section so it will help you directly log in there moreover you know if you come over here orkun.com basically if you click on login it will take you to the original option basically one is like wave you know inbox that is basically if you see uh, those might have used uh, turn it in we basically uh, say instructor or student account you know those can log in here and another one is for the admin portal the university admin uh, there will be a single person uh, that being involved for the university so they can log in with this option so they can click over them then it will take to the login page for for a, an instructor or a, let's say a student uh, to log in to assess uh, his or her account they can do over here so login in this web inbox they can click so it will take to the you know new site that being with the uh, original or else you can explore the old side also old inbox also if you click on here i'm more comfortable with the old one but it is up to you both will try to understand what is the difference see this is the new one so with uh, the username that being created by your administrator uh, and with that you can able to log in it can be again submitter or or it can be submitter or receiver you know account so you can do the sign in over here here if you see this is the old login portal so here also you have to put the you know email id or username and the password so you can do the sign in over here so this is the old uh, you know login page and this is the new login page so both where you know there are three documents whichever is being shown in this old one is being showing in the new one also so i am uh, showing for this demonstration let me go through only one page so you will not get confused we'll um, you know do it via the old login page so here you see as i have both you know submitter and receiver options so i have few settings you know this this line as you can see new folder settings th th this is important you know you have to click on settings so in the first initial phase this boxes will be clicked or this will be you know checked so this means that once you submit your work to you know Urkund, the second times when you submit the same file to Urkund, it will show you 100 percent because it is with the you know own archive Urkund archive so basically it will show you 100 percent similarity to report so that you might have faced in turn it in also like uh, many of the time they do do not you know set uh, the no repository option and they get 100 percent similarity report so this is what you need to avoid so you can uncheck it you know or you can ask administrator that whether you can do it in that way or not because there is again a op uh, cap uh, option is also there like you may not able to submit more than you know four or five times in your uh, Urkund account so if if that's so 
so that uh, you have to take permission from your administrator and you can do that so once you uncheck it so if you do the you know submission for the second time of the same document you will not face 100 percent similarity report or the percentage that you can see over here so you can update here by unchecking these boxes you can update this file so the if you click on the settings you see now it is updated and how you can able to submit so the first thing is once you do the settings you know or you can create boxes also you can uh, create a new folder let's say project or something with that you want to submit your file so that also you can do so i'm not doing it right now so i'll show you how you can able to upload a document so you have to click here upload document click on that as you can see there are you know this you know window will be generated and here you have to select the address so i'll as uh, my account as i'm telling is uh, having both you know submitter and receiver option so this is the analysis address basically to where it will be submitted and where you can able to generate the report so you have to select that one if your on uh, this you know analysis address is there then only you can able to submit your file so you have to uh, select that one or else you have to get uh, the analysis address from your administrator after that you can put uh, the subject name let's say you are checking on the you know a paper or you know a report so you can uh, type the title of it full uh, length so let's say si simply for this i'm uh, typing test so you can assume it you know in the message also you can type something Let, let's say you are not receiving that file and you are submitting to your uh, to your supervisors or your you know senior colleague or someone else so here you can do uh, you can give certain message so that they can able to understand what file uh, you are requesting to check so here you can do you know you can type something so that uh, they can able to understand and here you can select your file so i have kept my file this one test uh, assignment for this demonstration so i will select this file and now you can go for submission if you click on that you see document sent or uh, now you can go back here you can go back and after some time you know once that being checked once the report is being generated it will be reflected over here so you can wait for some time you see it is being reflected but the report is not yet generated so once the report is generated you can see a percentage as you can see for the other you know file so what i'll do for this demonstration i'll let me take you to my one of the older you know report test report in the meantime that report also will be get uh, you know you will get uh, get it generated so let me click on this 44 percent you know if you click on that a new window or page will open where it will take you to the analysis page basically where the report uh, you can able to do online analysis and you can even download that particular report so this is the new original page you can see uh, you can uh, if you want to go back you can you know you can uh, select it also you can uh, if you want to view the you know older version you can see this is the older version so i think the new version is quite you know good uh, so you can uh, you know you can uh, select that one let me check on that so this is i think is better so we can uh, analyze this report or else if you feel uh, this is okay for you you can do this one also you see basically this you know uh, percentage from the text it is showing it is basically coming from the Orkut archive uh, and uh, you know it is showing you from which it is being copied or it is being taken so this is how it is being shown if you click on that it will tell you uh, this certain percentage that is 100 percent overlap with the file that is being submitted to this with this name so you see these are like this it will show you against each it will show you it will not tell you word by word it it will tell you the you know you can say a portion um, of the text in the alternate you might have seen word by word you know matching text matching and uh, the source uh, against that particular you know text matches source also you can able to find so that is the basically the difference and uh, the percentage on that i will not uh, go into that it is of uh, of different policies and now it is part of uh, turnitin 
so you know the the algorithm or the you know the improvisation or the sort of thing that will also can be seen uh, in a period of time so you see this is how and if you come back to the new page also if let me cross that one here also you see 13 text matches for warning so text matches let's let me see one by one you can you know able to view here uh, you can click on next highlight next highlight like that let's say one of the text you know that is being included is your published work and you have already taken permission to remove that text so here you can select it you see include in analysis or you can exclude this one this is being excluded and this is being included if you exclude if it is of uh, somewhat of um, you know it will contribute much of the similarity then uh, in the final you know uh, you can see in our percentage that was 44 percent you might get less percentage so uh, that also is there possibility is there so you can exclude the sources but that what you need to take all you know approval from your supervisor before excluding any sources even um, you know you can you can come to the sources let's say these are the different sources 44 43 percent is coming from one this source and uh, this is uh, somewhat from the own archive that is coming and that um, that is basically your mistake with you know repeated submission that is coming and you are allowed it to exclude that one so now you can do that you, you can you see if you if i exclude this one now this becomes zero the entire you know finding here you see the similarity is now zero so let me go back and let me you know see that source and again restore it so again you see the similarity is 44 percent so th this that is how you can do it for entire document if you want to analyze you you see and at what you know uh, portion that is being coming and all sort of thing so it is there and you want to download it finally you have done the you know uh, sort of uh, filtering and uh, changes that that are required to do and now you are okay to download the report so you have to click here export analysis report as pdf so if you click on that your report will be downloaded you see this is the report you can save it uh, so you can save it so this report is being downloaded let me open it you see this is the limit that report you can take the first page as print out where uh, it can be shown on what it is being submitted submitted by whom and submitted email id similarity report and analysis you know address basically um you know few of the you know university or institution they recommend to submit it via the you know by the supervisor if somebody is doing phd so you know uh, there should not be any sort of um, uh, kind of you know changes that being made uh, by the student or by by the you know submitter so it is up to up to the administrator to decide and to proceed so you see this is the report so that you can uh, have a glance after you know you know sort of analyzing it online and then you can download it so this is how you can uh, do it you see if you refresh this page also uh, now it is being showing the file that we have submitted test text you know file assignment now it is showing 27 percent so if you click on that similarly you will uh, get the similar analysis if, uh, you know option to analyze it and then you can download it you see at 10 a different percent is coming text matching and warning there is no warning earlier here we have seen that warning uh, in that report uh, if you click on this see 44 percent that uh, i forgot to mention that forewarning what i did is for this you know demonstration i have made some changes with uh, you know i i have replaced with one and zero i have uh, for you know for o i have replaced with zero uh, to you know to cheat the system or to you know uh, to to overcome uh, from this uh, sort of you know system like uh, the similarity check or the plagiarism software system you know sometimes student they do sort of uh, um, changes uh, and the instructor or the person who is evaluating it they can able to you know, they can able to get the sort of impression from this window itself if there is some sort of warning they can 
analyze it and they you see here this warning if you see the next warning also you can see the changes if if it is with some let's say some equation and it is okay with that then you can ignore uh, those warning so it is up to you to evaluate it properly and then you know uh, process uh, that file for further sort of you know sort of uh, evaluation so again uh, thank you for watching this particular video please do uh, comment if you have any sort of uh, doubt or anything that i should cover and please uh, like this video and uh, stay tuned thank you